I'm here in McDonald's where I'm staying, right? And I'll show you this is how much of a ghost town this is, right? I'm in McDonald's, right? Ready? I'm in McDonald's. Breakfast time at McDonald's. It's half past nine. It's mad. Alright. I'm just gonna get me breakfast. Morning YouTubers. How be here? Let's have a little bit of breakfast. McDonald's again. No, there's places somehow. No way. I hurt you. Bloody wasps. Um, place is dead. Can't contain myself with all this excitement. Unbelievable. There's me and one couple in here, I think. An old elderly couple. That is it. It's just absolutely dead as a door now. I'm having around. It's McDonald's at breakfast time. Jesus, man, it's 10 to 10 in the morning. No one's here. I've got my egg and bacon muffin. With tea. Which she didn't want to give me the milk for. She almost had a fighter for it. I kept saying, no. No. Wait. No. I said, yeah, yeah. I've got it anyway. And um a massive little cookie with it. I'll save that for later. Rations. And an orange juice. Well this is a little bit healthy. <laughs> Not. Anyway. Good thing is the weather's beautiful again as you can see. I don't know what the forecast today. But I reckon wasps everywhere. But I reckon it's going to be 24, 26 at least again today. We've got blue skies and horrible wasps. Oh. Get me a minute. Oh, I'm going to the bin down now. Might move. So yeah, still no news from anybody yet. We should be, you boys should be at um, you boys should be at Horridorsa Glen now, in the village. Village that was wiped out by the Germans. Couldn't even see my right. So hopefully you boys are having a really good time. And hopefully you managed to get there early and get the drone up. And um, I know then you're gonna head on back down, sorry. Edit that bit out, Craig. All the noise. Now then you're going to head on down to, head on back up, I should say, to Le Mans, where hopefully I will be meeting you. All going well. I'm uh, still in the hotel. Nipped out for breakfast, obviously, but all the stuff's in there. We're going to have to be up until 12. As I already said to you yesterday, so fingers crossed. Oh, I'll hang out right till 12 as well. There's no point going over to bike shop too early. There's a shop for two hours. I was just sitting outside the shop for two hours. Um, I might hang around here till about, come out of there, hang around here, go have a coffee or something. Till about one. And then go over about one after one, ready for open at two. 
hopefully pick the bike up. Hopefully she'll be ready. And then we'll be back on our way. And then I'll be heading on myself on up to um, Le Mans. I don't, I'll have to look how far it is from here. I haven't looked yet. I'll eat this. I'll have a look on the Google Maps. See how far it is. Bad. 180 mile, eight miles. I went down 180 miles. And then it can come back up quite a way. So, I imagine it'd be about I'm up, 100 miles or so. I was looking at that. I'm going to put that there and a wasp from the end on. Go on, go over there. Here's yours. Leave my orange juice alone. And you get all these right on it, look. And all these, like, oh, <laughs> he got stuck in. <laughs> but I've got a load of maple syrup down there. He landed on it to get some, but he got stuck, and he just managed to, to get off of it. Where you go away? Seriously. Oh my word. There's loads of wasps in France. Everywhere we've been, we've been plagued with wasps. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. You don't watch me eating my breakfast. I've eaten up and ate it already. But I'll catch up again later and let you know. I'm still bored. Still going stir crazy. Bored out my mind. Nothing to do here. It wouldn't be so bad if there was something to do. But there isn't. So, just dead. No one to talk to, nothing. Only you guys. Anything keeping me sane right now, if you guys being with me? Right, uh, bugger off. I'll see you in a little while. That'll be out. Okay, little update. Um, I've just checked out of the hotel. Um, as I was checking out, I just received a phone call from the AA. And they said that they've been in touch with the Honda dealership this morning, the bike garage, and they said the bike's done, it's ready to go. <sighs> Don't know how much good news that was. I'm still not going to believe it until I get there, and I've checked it and make sure everything's alright. But apparently it's done, I can collect it after two when they open again, they open again at two. So, oh, please, 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 please let it all go good. And I can meet the boys up again tonight. Um, he said something about a price and how much it was, but... I hope we're not going to have to have an argument with him because I'll let you know about that because he said it was going to cost 240 euros labour to do the steering, the suspension, tying it up. And he was something about like less than a thousand euros or something. So I'm not. Already spent. God knows how much 16. 16 euros, something like that. 15, 16 euros. 100 euros. So I hope it's not going to be any more. Right, so. Uh, fingers crossed. Everything's okay. I'm just waiting for a taxi now. I've just come to this hotel next door. They've ordered me a taxi to go over to the bike park. To the Honda dealership, bike park 28. Uh, go and see Cyril. I'm going to get there before they open. But at least I'll get there. I can sit outside and have a drink and a biscuit or something. And then uh, if they're there, well, they will be there. Um, so then I'm going to hopefully um, be back on the road this afternoon. Fingers crossed. So... What's this space? I'll give you another little update when I get there. I'm just going to try and drink my Coke. I've ordered a Coke on drink because the taxi's going to be half an hour. Well, about 20 minutes now. Now I've finished faffing about. Um, so I'll, um, I'll update you when I get over there. All right. See you in a bit. Okay, little update. Uh, got here about 20 minutes or so ago, half an hour ago, something like that. Um, couldn't see any sign of the bike, so I just had a walk around. Side door's open. It looks like she's ready. I think she's ready to go. I had a call from them to say it's ready. There she is. So she's looking okay. Um, I had to take some of my stuff off so I've got to put that back on yet anyway but the front one looks okay so it's a 
brand new wheel on there. Brand new tyre. I'll have to take it easy with that for a little while, scrub that in. Everything else looks okay, I think. It feels okay. The handlebars feel nice and strong. I'm not wobbling like they did before. So I think he's fixed it all. Looks like he's put a new bracket on there. Uh, no, that's the original one. It's not a new one. Just cleaned it up by look, by look of it. Yeah, that's not new. That's the original one. So everything's looking good. Fingers crossed, we'll be on our way in a little while, girl. So fingers crossed, everything's good. Just gotta wait for him to open another 10 minutes. And I'll go in, take a little test ride, make sure she's okay. If she is, then what I'll do is, um, obviously pay the guy. Hope I don't have to fight and argue over that. I've got enough to pay for it. And then, um, should be alright and then uh, hopefully be on the way go and meet the boys they're going to Le Mans I'm going to go to Le Mans and meet them there tonight hopefully they're about well I'm two hours away so they must be at least three and a half hours away so probably get there I don't know maybe a similar sort of time who knows who knows we get there we'll meet up tonight so that's if it's all okay and if she feels all good apparently they said it's all good to go so, fingers crossed, within the next half an hour, I should be on my way. Of course, uh, so keep your fingers crossed for me, and I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay? Please. Fingers crossed, and I'll be positive. Okay, see you in a minute, bye. Okay, another update. It's now 25 past two, and they opened at two o'clock. And Cyril isn't here yet. And the other guy don't know what he's doing, or don't know how to do it. So, meantime, I've had a, kind of a chat with, um, with, the, with the mechanic. And he kind of assures me that everything's okay with the bike. He says, yeah, yeah, everything's good, 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 fine, yeah, good. He reckons everything's perfect, all right? So I've still yet to test ride it. The other bloke just said to me that, uh, my colleague, five minutes. So we'll soon see, won't we? He's, two, he's had a two hour lunch break already. He's still not back in time. I do know he's got a sick kid though, so hope his little baby's all right. Apparently it's in hospital. That's what he said the other day. So like, fingers crossed the baby's okay. So, sweltering out here in the sunshine. So I'm just having a coffee while I'm waiting. And uh, hopefully we'll get it sorted as soon as he gets back. She's up there waiting for me. I've already put one of my bags on. I'm going to put a camera on in a minute. Actually, I'll go and do it now. Leave my coffee there. Cool down a bit. I'm going to put my little front camera on. I can't get into me boxes yet because they haven't given me my key. So, is this him? No, he looks too big to be him. Quick time. Quick glance over my body work. Make sure my body works good. Okay, I haven't seen any scratches or anything on it. So, all good. Is it clean? Uh, I'll get these cameras on while I'm waiting and I'll catch up again in a minute. Right. 
Okay, right this minute, it's now quarter to three in the afternoon and apparently we're all good to go. I've just paid him another 237 euros for the labour to sort out the suspension, to take everything off and do everything he needed to tighten that up and sort that out. I don't know if that was caused from the blow to the wheel I don't think it was, I think it was due to the fact that um, with those bikes, the way the, the suspension system is, you can't fully compress the, the front forks on a, the handlebars on a tow truck, so I need to look into that to see if I can get that compensated or what. Um, I don't know, if, if I don't then I don't, but it was another 237, another 200 quid basically. Um, but it's sorted, it's all good, we're all good to go, I've been assured it's fine. So I'm gonna have a quick drive around the industrial estate here before I set off. Once I've done that, if, it's, if I'm happy and it all feels good, then I'm gonna set off, set my route in, and I'm gonna meet the boys at Le Mans. I'm gonna take the scenic route, which is gonna take me just over two hours, probably about two and a half, two and a quarter hours, something like that. That way I should arrive there roughly the same time as them, maybe if, if not just before. Um, I'm gonna have a wee before I go here, before I set off, and then I'm gonna get cracking. Um, see if I can meet them down there, plug it all into the sat and have a meeting down there. So fingers crossed, everything's good, and I feel safe, and the bike's all safe. They've told me it is, so down to them now, and uh, how I feel. I hope she's good. Right, I'll um, I'll have a little update either later on when I stop for a stop, so I'm not gonna get it two hours all in one in this heat. I'll probably pull up, I'm gonna have to get fuel anyway, so I'll pop up, pop, stop in for fuel, get a drink, and then I'll have another catch up on the on the video. But fingers crossed, we're all good to go. I've lost two days in my trip, but at least the bike's all sorted, and I'm gonna be able to drive around, so which is all good. Haven't had to worry Ellie or anybody else. Just gotta <laughs> bite the chomp on 1800 euros to get it fixed. Expensive, very expensive, little accident. Okay, but it's trouble when you have an expensive bike, innit? I suppose it comes hand in hand, innit? Lesson learned. Right, I'm gonna have a wee, then I'm gonna get set off, so I'm gonna hang up for now, so I'm uh, and I'll catch up with you en route. See you in a bit, bye. Okay, YouTubers. Look who's in Le Mans. Look who's in Le Mans. Yeah, I'll be made it. The SS Enterprise is fixed. Scotty did a good job. I can the ticket, she's breaking up, she's breaking up. Now she's fixed it, all good. <sighs> Didn't have a row in there with him, it only cost me another 237 euros, I think it was. Only problem I have found is the sensor on the boot and the center stand is um, it's not working properly. It's just saying that the stand's down or the the boot's not shut. Um, hopefully that'll clear itself. If not, I'll get out. Oh, sorry, talking into my face. The thing it's showing is that the sensor for the center stand and the boot is not working properly. Not a problem, I can get that um, fixed. Train going past it. I'll get that fixed when I get home if I have to. It might clear itself even. Um, but it's not affecting the vehicle, the vehicle's not sensing that the stand's down or that the boot's not shut. It's just the sensor showing that it's down and it's not shut. So it's not affecting anything, it's not overriding anything, so that's all good. Lovely little ride down here, a couple of hours, took all the back streets, all the country roads, took all the windy, all the nice windy um, roads, it was beautiful, really, really enjoyed it. There's nothing wrong with the bike, it's all fixed, all tightened up, all looking good. Lovely brand new wheel. Scrubbed it in a bit on the way down here. That's all good. Oh, I just had a shower. Look, now I've got dirty hands. I've wiped the tire. So yeah, all good. Well happy. The boys are still about half an hour away. So I'm already here. I've got here. I've checked into the rooms. I've sorted out the parking arrangements. Um, we've got to pay for the parking. It's 10 euros a night, but it's 8.50 in the unsecured. So it's better off having it secured. And he did say, as long as we uh, park our bikes in a line nicely out of the way, then um, we can put them. We can put them where we can, as long as they're out of the way. 
in the car, none of the cars in. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to sort that out because there's not an awful lot of parking in here. Looking at him go around there, we're going to have to take him all down that one end or a couple in here as well. But we'll sort it out when the boys get here. So while I'm waiting for him, I'm going to go and have myself a beer and, uh, <laughs> and then uh, wait for them to come and then I'll sort all the boys out when they get here. And have big kisses and cuddles and bear hugs and boy hugs and piggy hugs and everything else. I'm well looking forward to it. I'm proper H-A-P-P-Y again now. You've got Albie back. Albie's back. Happy go lucky Albie's back because I've got my trusty little steed back and I loved it. I had a beautiful little ride coming down here. We really, really did. Loved it. Anyway, I'm going to go so I'll let the boys know what's going on. I'm going to take this bag up to my room just in case because you never know. And... Uh, Oops, just in case, you never know. So what I'll do is I will get this sorted out and then I will um, and get a beer and wait for the boys. So, right, should I put this here for a minute? I'll get it unpacked. 